Okay, I'm in shitstorm wiring mode, I'm trying to make some, maybe uh, get this thing on the road this year. So this is a seven inch um, headlight mounted in to the original factory. Now these things have the adjusters. These guys are the adjusters. These are the whole, these hold the trim ring down. These just plugged in. There's some generic Chinese um, LED bulbs. And then I have these hella, um, these mounts here. I remember uh, ground, low, and high. Starts from the back, ground, low, and high. So the green goes to the white here, um, which I have hooked up to the brown. And it's actually a tan here. So this is my power, my low power. This is actually my high, I don't have it hooked up yet. I hook a ground here, they work. Um, I'm using a GM style, using a GM style. Remember these things are like two layer. And I was actually thinking about doing a dual headlight setup on this car, but that was a very dumb idea. Um, so and these actually require ground here instead of grounding at the headlight bucket. Um, so I will run ground to like here or somewhere here. So the headlights do work. Um, now there is a dimmer switch. Now this is an original dimmer switch that I could potentially use. And if you know an a Ford look dimmer switch, is it has these four wires solid red wire is the indicator it comes back actually into the car um, um, green is power green and white or green and black is power black is low <laughs> and red is high red and white is high so when you hit these two these get when you hit the power these two light up and obviously you know versus the the black so and this is kind of what they look like. I got to put it back in the car. These are different from the standard GM kind of snap on stuff. So I'm going to actually use that. I don't like using older wiring, but whatever. Another thing. Uh, uh, so yeah, it's, it's all hooked up just to prove something here. You can see here's the foot switch right here. And you got the black and white goes out. Red and white goes out. The red comes back in to the dash. And uh, the red, the red and white, the light green black, this one goes to the headlight switch. So now I have a totally different headlight switch setup, which is basically the same thing though. Um, I have a GM switch style. So I have power coming in here on the red and this is the this is the this is the um, this brown light brown which connects all the way out to the front is the uh, low so now I'll have to I'll have to intersect this I'll have to intersect this out there on the dimmer switch on the on, on the foot switch to because uh, this just applies power so that's all it's gonna do like this thing is like these are pretty cool because they have the dimmer right here too. The dimmer's here. Um, this is the tail lights, uh, and the daylight, the, the parking lights. This has everything built in it and it has a relay built into it. So that's kind of a nice little, uh, little, and this easy wiring you can see, they talk about it here. You kind of just hijack this tan one here. So, and instead of doing this guy, I'm gonna, this is the, this is the standard kind of GM one. I'll hijack this one and uh, basically just you get the green versus the tan or whatever and the green is the high and the tan is the low again. Like I said, I've already tested the low and they've already worked. So these lights already work. So real bright, they'll blind you. Um, I don't even know what a high is going to look like. But anyways, it's all handled and good. So I'm going to get that wrapped up. Brakes all done. Got the mass and brake booster here. Uh, what else? Get this thing off and painted. May not worry about it. I might just try to get it running, get to a show before the end of the year, before uh, here. And I'd like to get a couple weeks, but it's not going to make it. I don't think. I guess got too much stuff. This just takes too much time. Nightmare. Like I have to get like a rubber grommet here and stuff because it's open to the back of the car and stuff. And this shouldn't be exposed either. Even that thing should not be exposed to water, ever. So 
So I have to figure that out. Um, things like that. I may have to get some kind of, like to put this inside of here and like just get this, this wire to come out somehow. I, I don't know, that's gonna be a nightmare, but this can't be exposed because it's like a bare metal there, there's bare wire. Can't have water flowing up on that. So I got some more logistics to figure out, but these worked out really well. You can get these kind of things on eBay. This one doesn't quit. I have a couple, I, might get, I think I have another version coming. They're really easy to put in. You just swap that in. This hell has to come out anyways to get this, get this guy. I don't know, these are hellas. These are good stuff. I just don't know. I don't think they're water. I don't think this should be. So oh, I had in my bright eye, bright idea to make it to put this dual headlight set up on this thing. But that is simply not gonna happen ever. Um, I didn't want to use my show you. I have these headlight setups here. I've been working on my dash. Here's my setups for my headlights. So I have to get that lens out of there and paint it silver inside. And uh, they're both done and they're okay. That one's a little, little iffy, but the one's brand new. So uh, I got the dash going too. So I'll get that wrapped up. Um, I've got other stuff everywhere. Starting to polish more and more trim. Just get the thing running. That's what I'm trying and uh, see how it goes. This front trim's all done. I just got to get it on. I did want to test this for water leaks. I need to put some, like, dum-dum here and stuff and then test this guy for water leaks. I might do it now. Is probably the time to do it. Just in case. And do the back, too. So, I've got my work cut out for me. So, trying here. <laughs> 